clapperboards come in an industry standard size. The classic size is this 11 inch or 28 centimeter clapperboard. This size matters because these dimensions create a standard of distance from the camera sensor according to the lens field of view. In other words, there is a standard to measure what distance from the lens you should hold the slate and fill the frame. If space is tight, you can use smaller slates to position the slate relative to the camera and mark the take. That's why other sizes of clapper boards exist. Film Sticks makes four sizes, medium, small, tiny, and nano. The nano slate is also called an insert slate, and you can actually use it on the main clapper stick here. However, Film Sticks have actually made all the sizes of sticks to suit these slate sizes, and have modeled our nano sticks on our classic medium sticks, and it goes through the same process of design and manufacturing. So, apart from being incredibly cute, this little tool is a professional tool that is used on set when macro lenses are employed or the camera is extremely close to the subject. On these medium sticks, the underside has an insert groove for the slate. It's 3.5 millimeters, and this is a standard measurement. When considering the slate, acrylic boards can come in different widths or thickness and there is a tolerance of plus or minus 10%, and that's actually quite large. So this means that acrylic boards supplied by different companies can come in different widths. We make our slates to a tolerance of around three millimeters, which means that the slate could be 2.7 to 3.3 millimeters, though we are delivering at 2.9 to three millimeters for a specific reason. Our acrylic boards, or slates, are transparent and allow light through to ensure that the information on the slate is properly displayed on the camera frame. The board is strong enough, yet the transparency will allow backlight through. Our sticks have to be able to accept most, if not all, slates made by other companies. And that's why we make our sticks to 3.5 millimeters, and that's why the standard exists. So, tape is still the best way to secure a slate into the sticks because of the different thickness of acrylic boards. There are other branded slates that don't need to use tape and it's possible to jam those slates into our sticks very securely. But most will require an additional layer of tape to be applied to fit the slate into sticks. So why use film sticks? These are a professional tool in the motion picture and television industry. They can be completely stripped and cleaned. They are adjustable so that you can set your clapper stick to be as loose or rigid as you prefer. They are reversible, so that you can position your sticks away from you or toward you, depending on how you clap. Keeping in mind that you never want to cover the information on the slate, and ensuring that when you clap, you never cover the sticks with your hand when closing, usually by holding the top stick in the middle. How you hold the clapper board is important. This is more apparent when soft sticks is called for on set where you may be very close to the actor and you don't want to be bashing the sticks down into their ear or disturbing the scene. And depending on where the second AC or clapper loader is standing, you may need to switch the sticks around so that the closing of the sticks can be controlled gently from the tip of the top stick to a closed position like this. And that's the next point. Film sticks, clapper sticks produce a clear, crisp, audible clap even when using soft sticks. This is critical for the editor. The closing of the sticks coming down in the same position is crucial to the audible clap. And our patented tongue and groove design in the stick ensures that the sticks close without side wobble and close in the same place. This feature also eliminates light leaks through the sticks when the backlight is strong. It's also quite handy when holding cloth in tape when measuring marks. These sticks are also all weather. This means I can do this. So depending on what the tape calls for, you can simply clean off the sticks and slate afterwards. These white chevrons are individual pieces that are actually sonic welded onto the main CNC machine stick, whereby high frequency ultrasonic acoustic vibrations are applied to effectively melt the surface of the parts and bond them together 
creating a, a solid state weld. These white chevrons aren't going anywhere. Unlike wooden sticks which peel, cracks, changes its properties in water, film sticks clapper sticks can last for years. We've had users inform us that they're still using their original sticks after more than 10 years. These have been designed by Louise Ben Nathan, a second AC working in the British film industry. Her design has allowed us to produce probably the most durable all-weather sticks on set. Through the multiple CNC machined processes that go into creating these solid sticks, film sticks provide a professional solution to the motion picture and television production industry.